How else do you start off with Connie Chung and Maury Povich and talking about Maury being the big bad brother over here? Oh. I love it. Oh, are you kidding? Well, that's why he's a big bad boy now. Yeah, um, exactly. You know, you guys know a little bit about this journalism field that this show is about, right? <laughs> yes. Connie's only just pretty much revolutionized it for women. So, guys, well, you, what actually, you actually, Lynn, my sister at Newsweek, and Connie at the time in TV locally and then at CBS, I mean, it was a very parallel kind of life. I mean, what my sister went through, I think... Those early women at Network News went through the same thing. Yeah, and but Lynn actually took it to the tenth degree. You know, she and the they other sued. women. Yeah. <laughs> the eleventh <11th> degree with that. <laughs> yeah, it was unbelievable because um, Newsweek and Lynn's group, or all those women at I'll Newsweek, you, were I'll, the first. I'll tell you a very. This is a unique story about. Lynn and all the women at Newsweek suing the Washington Post Company that owned Newsweek. Because the owner of the Washington Post Company was Catherine Graham, a woman. And my father was the sports columnist of the Washington Post for 75 years. And the law firm that defended the Post in the case was my brother's law firm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these, so, po these Poviches are trouble. So, uh, so when they came to my brother and saying, your sister is leading, <laughs> along with others, many in this suit, what should we do? And my brother said, surrender. <laughs> and they settled. <laughs> they did. And you know what? Lynn and her cohorts, these women had nowhere to meet. They had to gather somewhere in the ladies' room. <laughs> Believe me, they were in the ladies' room, you know, cooking up this unbelievably precedent-setting lawsuit. So, you know, you're, you're talking about the late 60s and the early 70s, and I'm sure that this series kind of you know, shows that kind of life that these, that these women had to go through. I want to ask you guys, because we also just had an incredibly polarizing situation with <laughs> Billy Bush, obviously. Yes. Oh. Talking about a game changer, I want to know your thoughts on this whole thing. Billy, oh, Billy, Billy was wronged, totally wronged, for being fired by NBC. Good gosh. Well, he wasn't fired, he was just asked to leave. <laughs> Got a payday. That <laughs> happened to me. <laughs> But I didn't get that kind of It's fascinating was, to hear that from a woman, obviously, because you're hearing such an uproar for, from no, women no, saying no. what he said was wrong. I know. No, no, no. What Trump said was wrong. Billy was a, a young reporter. I mean, he's... What do you think reporters do? They draw out the best and the worst out of people. And, um, well, and he Billy... Played along. Sure he did. Yeah, and, yeah. And that doesn't and go over when a Today Show, <laughs> when the Today Show has the women audience, it does. I know, but they shouldn't have uh, put him out to pasture. He's he's well, a good guy. Yeah, he is a good guy. He made a big mistake, and, and he, that's and he apologized. By the way, he apologized. If it happened on Access Hollywood, I don't think he'd be all out of their job. The Today Show's audience is so drastically different, and like you said, it's. It's a majority of women, so it's very difficult to keep them on. After no, but that. It, the, the Billy Bush's issue is not a woman's issue. It's it's a corporate mentality issue that caused him to be kicked out. Well, wait a second. NBC owns my show. <laughs> <laughs> They're very experienced when it comes to internal reviews. Okay. <laughs> Give me a break. I'm not working for anybody. I know. I know.